All right, let's look at some aromatic nuclear substitu nucleophilic substitution processes. Up to this point, uh, we've been dealing with electrophilic substitutions mainly, and the electrophilic substitutions had something positive attacking the ring. We can also have something negative attack the ring as long as we have some specific conditions on the ring in place. First of all, we need some kind of leaving group on the ring, and chlorine is one of the most common leaving groups that we can have, and this will end up being replaced by the nucleophile. But in order to make the ring more attractive to a nucleophile, which is going to most likely be negatively charged, we're going to have to do something to the ring to make it more, uh, make it more positive. And one thing we can do is we can add deactivating groups. But the catch is we have to put the deactivating groups in specific conditions on the ring relative to where the chlorine is. The deactivating groups specifically have to go in the ortho or para positions to the chlorine group. And the more deactivating groups we have, the faster the reaction will go. So if we put one in the para position, we can get that reaction to work so the nucleophile will replace the chlorine. We put the activating groups in the ortho position to a chlorine and we can get that one to go as well. And this one will go even faster if we put one in the ortho and one in the para. However, putting a deactivating group in the meta position will not help the reaction at all. Alright, let's look at why we need these deactivating groups in specific, specific positions relative to the chlorine. Well, here's the reaction. Here's how the actual mechanism works. So the nucleophile comes in and attacks the same C as the one that the chlorine is connected to and pushes the electrons in the double bond onto that negatively, on, onto that C there that's adjacent to the CCL bond. This C negative comes back and kicks out the CL. And the reason it will do this is so that the ring can regain the aromaticity that it formerly had. And that's uh, the the key step in the replacement right there. Now let's look at why it's necessary to have uh, deactivating groups in specific con uh, positions on the aromatic ring. All right, the story is told by this um, by this resonance diagram right here. You can see this negative charge can flit around the ring, but it only ends up in certain positions on the ring. It ends up here, ortho to the chlorine. It ends up here, para to the chlorine, and ends up here, um, again, ortho to the chlorine. All right, so this is my summary of uh, the kinds of conditions we need in order for this nucleophilic substitution to occur. First of all, we need a leaving group, and that's going to be chlorine, usually. We need at least one activate, deactivating group on the ring, ortho and or para to the leaving group. The more we have, the better and deactivating groups will stabilize the negative charge, but they must be attached to where the negative charge occurs in the resonance structure. So, and that's only going to be in the ortho and para positions, so the chlorine. You also need a decent nucleophile to attack, and that would be something with a strong negative charge. OH negative, RO minus, SH minus, and SR minus are uh, very good nucleophiles for this purpose, and uh, they will react in this way. All right, let's look at a couple of uh, a couple of examples. All right, so let's say we've got an aromatic ring and we've got a Cl here, and I'll put an NO2 up here and say an NO2 down here, and we'll attack it with this. Usually we'll have heat as well. Sometimes we don't need heat. depends on how many deactivating groups we have attached to the ring. And the product will be this. So just to check, we've got our leaving group here, and then we've got our NO2 groups, and NO2 groups are deactivating groups. We know that because when we draw them out, they look like this. And we've got a positive charge on the end. That will suck electron density out of the ring and will stabilize any negative charge that forms during the, uh, the, resonance, uh, the resonance structures uh, for the nucleophilic substitution. 
The other thing I want to point out is that it's actually the O negative that comes into attack. So if we look at the mechanism for this, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but it's the first step. We'll have the O negative come in, and you can see that it's going to attack that carbon. The electrons are going to go on to that carbon. And you can see that the negative charge then can be stabilized by this nitro group. So any product we get will have the O directly connected to that carbon where the chlorine was. And you can see that that will end up leaving. And that's what will get us our product in the end. All right, so there's a, that's a good example right there. All right, let me show you another example. All right, let's say I put a deactivating group in the meta position. And I'll use the same nuclear file with heat. What's going to happen is I'm going to get no reaction. And the reason for that is because when the negative charge forms during the mechanism, it can form here, and it can form here, and it can form here. And the nitro group is not going to provide any stabilization for any negative charge that forms on the ring because of where it is in the meta position. So we're not going to get any reaction from that. All right, now I'm going to try something that's got uh, some different deactivating groups. CN is deactivating, and this one is deactivating as well. And I'll throw a nitro group on here on the meta position as well. Now I know what some of you are saying, you're saying, well, if you put a nitro group here, there's going to be no reaction. Well, the thing is, I said that the nitro group would not help the negative charge, but it doesn't hinder it either. If we can get the negative charge stabilized by some other groups, then the nitro group being here simply doesn't matter. So if I treat this with an S negative and heat, I will get a reaction. and I will get this as a product. My point being that the CN group and this group down here both being both having the ability to suck electrons out of the ring see the delta plus there because of the delta minus on the end and this one here, the delta minus and the delta plus here, will both have the ability to suck electrons out of the ring and stabilize negative charges that appear at the ortho and para position to where the chlorine was. So the nitro group being here just doesn't, doesn't matter, doesn't affect it at all. So we still end up with the product we'd expect to get.